We're joined now by royal biographer Tom Bauer, who's written, I think, two books, both Rebel Prince, which is about Prince Charles, and Revenge, Meghan Harry and the War Between the Windsors. Tom thinks if the memoir is damaging, then Harry and also Meghan should be stripped of their Sussex titles. And to debate this, royal author and historian Dr Tessa Dunlop, who believes they, they should keep their titles regardless of what is in the book. Very good morning to you both. Tom, it, wouldn't it look a little bit petty and peevish if the king said, I don't like what you've written, you, but I'm going to take away your Duke and Duchess titles? Is, it, that looks like it would be a rather nasty act. We kind of know what Prince Harry's going to say in this book, don't we? Because we've sort of heard it before. Well, we don't know what he's got in the book. We've heard what he said before. He and Meghan in the Opera Winfrey said 17 inaccuracies and lies. And it was hugely damaging to the royal family. And if you actually believe in the royal family, as I do, and you think Britain's one of Britain's most important mm -hmm. uh, status symbols in the world and what reflects Britain's status and its values and everything is the royal family, the couple in Montecito who are making their fortune solely by damaging and destroying the royal family to promote their own fortunes and their own pre uh, prestige and their own brand, mm. I don't think they should be allowed to call themselves Duke and Duchess anymore. And I think the only way in which they can be uh, undermined, reduced in, imp in importance in America is to say, well, if you think that of us, this is our family, this is Britain, you don't need to keep your titles anymore. After they trade on their titles, they make their money by always parading themselves, the Duke and Duchess and the Prince. So if they want to make their money out of trashing Britain, then why should they be recognised as the Duke and Duchess? But, Tom, you've written two books yeah. from which you've made money, yes. which were both quite damaging to the royal yes. family. You've not got a title we can strip <laughs> from you, um, but... You wouldn't give me one, But yet. you'll have... Um, when I wrote about you, but you you'll didn't have... want to talk to me. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but you will have had lots of people who did talk to you... Yes. ..off the record, yes. almost certainly with titles... Now, Harry's doing it on the record and you want to remove his titles. What about all your sources? Why don't you report your sources have their titles stripped? I mean, they're the ones who really damaged no, the royal family, not, not that's Harry. That's not the same at all. Of course it's that's the same. same. Well, you think it is. I don't think it is. Ed, I actually you think it can go in heavier. <laughs> you accuse him of rank hypocrisy because that is precisely what it is. You talk about them making their fortune in Montecito. Arguably, Harry, with good reason, he's had a pretty rough ride in his young life. Uh, meanwhile, you are sitting there in your little establishment position, raking it in off the back of their arguable misfortune or fortune, depending how you spin the coin. I mean, we all have books to promote. I actually have one next week, as we've mentioned, two of Tom's, Elizabeth and Philip. Now, I think it's appalling, it's actually, what, she what said. you're doing. I saw you masquerading as an expert in the sun, pretending you know what's in this book, saying that their titles should be strict. Arguably, they've brought the royal family to a whole younger audience. That, you know, young people on TikTok talk about Harry and Meghan. They care about them. This is a bit of exported British tinsel. Yes, they no longer be belong in that family. Yes, they do loads of sun-drenched photographs and they've dropped the royal regalia. So what? They're a different generation from you, Tom. Be Let them be. Let because, them be. Because they're making their money out of lying. That's why. I don't lie in my book. Oh, never? Let me finish. What on the people that you talk let me, to? Well, don't we, lie we, we, don't we, we don't lie. know, I do not Tom, because yours lies. are all off the record. I don't publish lies, and they deliberately went to the Oprah Winfrey mm. uh, interview and said 17 lies, and that is unforgivable because... Let me finish. Because they're not trading as an author, they're not trading as someone who's done any work, they're just peddling their titles. Mm. And uh, Meghan came to Britain with one purpose only, to elevate her prestige and her position and her celebrity. Mm. She got here, she didn't want... She, she didn't. Lying. She did not want to act the role that she volunteered to do, and then she went out back to America and sought to destroy the family. And I think if they want to destroy the royal family, which is what I think is in their book, then they shouldn't be allowed Tessa, to parade there are, the royal... Uh, uh, you know, just to take the heat out of it slightly, uh, there will be people who think if you're going to be as critical of the royal family as they are then the titles should no longer be theirs. It's fair... You know, some people might be hurt by what they say, some people might, might think they have a totally legitimate right to be critical, but don't be critical and expect to have the titles at the same time. Prince Harry was born in a goldfish bowl. Mm. I think he served sufficient time as a prince to retain his princely and ducal title. I think that is his privilege, that is the mad world 
he was born into. He still into. remains a prince by birth, so yeah. that wouldn't be taken away from him. So he would still have, in most people's eyes, a royal title. It would, do, do you know, flip it round, Susanna. They are the extension of the royal family in America. Look how mealy-mouthed it would mm. make us look. Ooh, our, one of our most famous... Mm. Um, supported mm. institutions with all the power of state mm. behind it. The British monarchy mm. can't cope with a little bit of in-house criticism. And by the way, Prince Charles criticised his parents in that Dimbleby biography. It was semi-authorised. Mm. And let's not forget the Duke of Windsor, a King's story in 51. This has been done time again. Yeah. That monarchy, if it's the big potato that it claims to be, should take those blows. This is it's the bit I don't quite blows. understand, Tom, because, you know, if you say they shouldn't be allowed to use their titles in order to then have commercial enterprises and pursue wider ends. I understand that argument. But the argument you're making is they shouldn't be allowed to write a book with their views. And surely in Britain, every citizen has got the right... No, you're distorting, to have free you're distorting me, Ed. Every, they have the absolute right mm. to go on opera. They have an absolute right to write their book. But they shouldn't have the recognition of being part of the royal family in terms of their titles. They got the titles because they volunteered. They wanted to leave Britain because, hey, Prince we Harry was, we Prince Harry was born. with the invasions of our he, privacy. He was born, Prince He'll Harry. He'll keep his princely title. It's Meghan I'm after. Because this book oh. is really oh, Meghan. Oh, it's Meghan oh, you are oh, after. Oh, Perhaps I see. I thought Meghan, it was about Harry. Meghan, Meghan, Meghan is the person who has dictated oh. this agenda. Why? Because she wants... The book's by Harry. Before. It's not even by Meghan. Do you think he's read it? Well, he's, a, what, he's, he's written, written it. it. He, he's he's ghost written. It. He's ghost written, Ed. No, we he know that, he read it. He's, he's, actually, has read he's going to read it for the Meghan. audiobook. <laughs> I, well, let's see. But just Meghan finally... Has, Meghan has actually read every word. Meghan is a highly intelligent, very sophisticated... You can't bear a woman to be in control, Tom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you really believe in the royal family, respect the late Queen's decision, which was that they should be Duke oh, and Duchess of Sussex. As she said, said, recollections the, may differ. The le, exa, may vary. May vary, le, yes. May, may vary. And the Queen also said, thank goodness Meghan isn't coming to Prince Philip's funeral. She didn't like her. She saw right through her. Well, William saw through her. One of her, those things Prince was... Charles through her. Diana's brother, Charles Spencer's through her. She was an adventuress who yeah. came here to make fame and fortune, gone back to America, He's... is exploiting a royal title, making money out oh, of you causing can't misery You can a foreigner here. making money out of a British brand, Tom. God, Stuart you're really, you're is really screaming are. in my ear saying, we've got to move on, <laughs> we've got to move on, but I don't you know, know about what? you, I'm loving it in the middle here. Well, it is a topic which gets people very <laughs> excited, <laughs> agitated, activated. Um, thank you both very much indeed, Tom and Tessa.